Hey guys, t here. Today I got a uh, replay in the Queen Elizabeth for you. It's the Tier 5 British Battleship. Now this one, if you saw my video on the British Battleship, or the British ships, it was the rundown video I put up a week ago. This is, this is how I talk about playing this line of ships in that video, and it works very well for this. It's got really powerful guns for the tier. It does have the special British AP shells, which if you haven't heard me talk about it or aren't aware. They do have shorter fuses on them, which makes it hard to penetrate battleships at waterline shots. But cruisers, you can see there, it has no problem um, scoring citadels in the normal manner. So you want to shoot those normally. But you'll see here, basically I'm just holding down this flank here, and we're just going to support this side and kind of let the let the game play out. This isn't the flashiest replay of all time, but you can see if you play the ship in this manner, you can actually put up a really high scoring game. So, Garland's is still broadside to us. We're going to be able to smoke him here. Another Citadel on him. I see I'm obviously. I wanted to shoot that Alba there. He was beached on the island over there, but I was too close to my own island, so I didn't have a shot at him. But Killing the New Orleans was just fine. Now you can see I'm kind of tracking this New Mexico. That's because I'm going to have a shot at him first. You see we backed up that, you see, and I've talked about that white triangle indicator. That's right near the center of the screen before. If it's on the screen, that means you're going to, all your shots are going to hit the island. If it goes away, at least some of your salvo is going to pass over the island and hit. So I still didn't have a shot at the cruiser, that's why I took that one. But now that we're sighting the Alba, there's no white triangle indicator toward the center of the screen, and that means I have a clear shot at him. And we're just going to fire away. Hopefully take him out in one shot. Now I want you to notice the diagram at the bottom here. This Queen Elizabeth has very good gun clearance, so you can maintain a very steep armor angle. You know, I'm no degree expert, but that's probably 20... 30, 30 degrees, you know, and we're able to actually get all four guns. So that's that's one of the better uh, angles that you're going to find on any battleship, at least all the ones that I've played. And they were able to blast him. <laughs> so. I'm going to talk a little bit about shot selection here as this video goes on. It's not the flashiest replay, but you see I'm constantly picking on these cruisers, right? Now, if you're broadside cruiser and you have a battleship that has a shot at you, you're in trouble. And that's because battleships are designed to kill cruisers. Cruisers are designed to kill destroyers, and destroyers are designed to kill battleships. It's not the first time I've talked about it. I think Wargaming, I don't know what, if it was an article or just a little blurb I read, but they kind of described it as a game of tic-tac, or not tic-tac-toe, but uh, rock, paper, scissors. It's the same principle where each ship, you know, is designed to kill the other one. So how you disrupt the game for the enemy is to, if you remove one class, that makes it a lot harder. Now, this game is very bizarre, there's no destroyers in it. Uh, it's very rare to see any game with only two classes in it, and especially with no destroyers. But I'm still try I'm preferring to kill the cruisers over the battleships. Now, even though that ship is more horizontal to me, better broadside, and he's basically not moving, you can make the case, well, I should have shot at the Iron Duke there, but I'm still trying to perform my role. Now, I did have a comment from Josh uh, CC600 on one of my videos about a week ago, which I did want to address. He's he's saying I'm always talking about killing destroyers, and he thinks I'm like <laughs> I have like a bias against destroyers, or like I'm a battleship only player or whatever, which isn't the case. But why I'm always talking about killing destroyers is because you need to envision your team's hit point collective hit points as a pool, okay? Now the majority of your hit points, it, let's just assume you have three of each ship. Alright, you have three destroyers, three cruisers, three battleships. 
the majority of your hit points is going to be located in the battleship, right? They're inordinately weighted that way. So the one ship that can cut down a massive part of your hit point pool in one shot, i.e. Uh, one torpedo salvo, that's the destroyer, okay? So, yeah, it's cruiser's job primarily to kill the, the destroyers, but any ship that can contribute to getting them off the map is going to preserve the hit point pool better. A cruiser can kill a battleship, but it's going to take a long time. A battleship can kill a battleship, but it's going to take longer than a destroyer can do it, okay? These, so, it's not that I'm anti-destroyer or pro-battleship. It's just how you're going to win more games is by keeping the battleships alive. Now, I th I think they're just the lowest priority target to kill because if there's no cruisers left and there's no destroyers, the battleships are going to lose most of the time. Yeah, they can do a lot of damage in one salvo, as you've seen in a couple shots here. But it's just that's how I will, would recommend conceptualizing the game. It's just one giant hit point pool per team. How do you preserve that? Okay. So if you have a 10,000 hit point destroyer that's killing a 55,000 hit point battleship because everyone thinks it's too hard to hit a destroyer, well, that's a problem. That's how you're going to lose the game. So anyway, and I'm, I'm only bringing it up in this replay because it's, I, this is a good game in my opinion. Obviously, it's a high scoring game if you saw the title, but... You know, the, in terms of action, it's not the flashiest game of all time, so I thought I'd address that topic. But here you can see I'm trying to angle my armor pretty well. And again, like we talked about earlier, you can actually get those four guns on with just barely opening your ship up. So, obviously I'm in a weird spot here. I got the Queen Elizabeth there, and then I have, you know, that ship to the south, which, for whatever reason, I'm having a hard time spotting them, but... He, the Iron Duke to my left could potentially do some damage to my ship. I'm not as concerned with him. He's a lower tiered battleship. You don't want to not respect its ability to cause damage to your ship. That's a mistake, but you're always trying to angle your armor towards the ship that's more of a threat to you. Now, ideally, I'd probably back up a little bit just so that Island would cover my flank from that um, Iron Duke a little bit better. And you can see there he's starting to get a couple of shots in on here. Now if you haven't heard me talk about the British AP shells before, you, you'll see I'm aiming more up on the ship than I'm not trying to go for the waterline citadels. You can get, you know, between 5 and 15,000 damage usually on a 4 gun salvo just shooting kind of at the side, the top of the hull on the side there. So you're, against these battleships, I don't think, like the Queen Elizabeth, the Iron Duke, uh, they're not as dangerous as like an, a, a Japanese battleship or an American battleship, but due to the fact that they can angle the armor really well, kind of hold down a position and then just gradually whittle, whittle them down over time, that to me is an effective play. Now, a lot of people are going to use HE shells on their Queen Elizabeth, for instance. I, just, I don't ever use HE on these, to be honest with you. And let, the only situation is if there's one destroyer left and he's the only ship left and I don't think he's going to be fighting me within the next 30 seconds, then I'll switch shells. Other than that, I find the AP to be very effective, especially at the longer ranges where you're able to drop the shells down vertically. That's how I play it. I'm not saying loading HE is the wrong play, but, you know, it's just, in my experience, it's the more effective play. And I do want to point out that, like, the Queen Elizabeth is a little bit of an aberration. I think the other, the Orion Iron Duke and the King George all have over 40% chance to start fire, which is extremely high. Queen Elizabeth is still very high, 35%, but it is a little bit lower as well. So for me, again, I'm through the King George, and the Vanguard is going to get a buff on the July 1st update, so we'll see how that 
translates, but for me, having played most of the line, the Queen Elizabeth's the sturdiest ship. I think it's the best ship in the line. The King George is interesting. I, I am actively switching between HE and AP on that ship, and that's the first one I really would recommend doing so in the line. Up until then, I'd stick with AP all the way through. But the King George, and I don't want to talk too much about it because we'll, we'll talk about it in the solo replay, but it's has dramatically smaller caliber guns than the other ones. So that's against battleships at least. You want to be shooting HE rounds on that ship. But anyway, you can see, I mean, we're at 130k here and it's getting, uh, we're getting a little long in the tooth here as far as health points, but still blasting away. At this distance, maybe I should have been shooting the waterline. I think you might be able to get some penetrations there. But I'm basically trying to play for time here. We're up on ships. We're up dramatically on points. So if I can just kind of drag this out as much as possible, we're going to win the game. And my, that's how I'm thinking. They do end up making it pretty close, but we end up pulling it off in the end. So that's a look at Queen Elizabeth and, again, uh, target selection, which I hope you guys aren't getting sick of it. But it, in my mind, it's the most important topic in terms of how to win games. So if you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up. If new to the channel, consider subscribing. Questions, comments, leave them below. And we'll see you guys all later. Alright, peace.